Holy moly, it's been a while. We finally got some good days here. Um, I'm not sure how this is going to turn out because I adjusted the volume for the tractor uh, video, but I think it's back where it was, but I'm not entirely sure. I may have to take her with it. Um, so first I'd like to say thanks to everybody who wished my wife well on her uh, endeavors there. We spent the entire day at the hospital. She went through a barrage of tests, all of which came up inconclusive. One of the tests was a colonoscopy. Uh, one of which was a colonoscopy, and um, they found four polyps. polyps. Uh, one they described as being very large, but none of them are cancerous, apparently. So. That's good, but unfortunately, it's not what was causing a problem. Um, so we'll just have to wait and see on that, I guess. In a couple of weeks, she goes in for more tests. So uh, it's been a beautiful couple of days. Yesterday was gorgeous, but unfortunately, it was too cloudy and too windy. It kept looking like it was going to rain. So today, not so much. Today is pretty nice. And, uh, so, you know, we'll see how it goes. Eighty miles an hour, baby. And she just loves it. In this weather, anyway. So what I wanted to talk about today was uh, YouTube. They're getting some grief right now, probably rightfully so. Uh, so they've always had this policy in place of, um, for monetizing your videos where um, you would lose monetization if you swore, uh, had partial or full nudity. And the, the big one, the one everybody's griping about, is um, if you talk about politics, anything controversial, or um, uh, anything like that. I, I forget the uh, the paragraph exactly, but that's the gist of it. And so now people are having videos taken down. There was uh, a couple of people that I watched who had their video taken down because uh, in one case, it was four reasons why Hillary should not be president. And or I should correct that. They weren't taken down. They were unmonetized, right? But for these guys, it might as well have been taken down because they do this for a living now, right? So... Uh, four reasons why Hillary shouldn't be a, a president, and they were his opinions. And they said, no, violates policy. Well, they've always had this policy, but now they're enforcing it with the same robotic enforcement. Oh, look at the buffaloes, dude. Yeah, I know, my ADD, right? Cool. Um, so they just started enforcing it with robots like they did with the... Uh, copyright infringements for music and video, uh, you know, movies and things like that. So people are getting their monetization yanked. Even big guys like PewDiePie and Franco and that. So now they're all up in arms about it. Fair enough. For most of you guys, however, you, you don't monetize or you don't do it for a living, so it's not a big deal. The problem is, is it's um, it's a slippery slope. I suspect they will, much like everybody else, um, like uh, Facebook and Twitter. Uh, PewDiePie got kicked off of there too. Go figure. Uh, I mean, outright banned, right? Um, The problem is, is the left is pressing hard, the liberals are pressing hard to um, censor the internet. 
and they're using uh, ad companies to do it. And uh, so the likes of George Soros and some others, you know, the ones, the usual suspects, are cracking down. And it won't be too long before they do that on YouTube. Basically, those that are in power, what they want is for everybody to be like Scotty Kilmer or Eric the Car Guy, right? And there's nothing wrong with those guys. I watch them. I enjoy their videos. And I get to a certain point they're sellouts in that way, respect. Um, but that's okay. That You know, uh, I just know that both of them would swear up a storm in their videos if it wasn't for that policy. And in fact, Scotty Kilmer just released something basically saying that. The problem is... Um, all these free platforms, these free speech platforms, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, they're all going away. I mean, it was a nice run, uh, you know, but at the end of the day, money always rules, right? And those with money dictate policy. Just the way it is. It's unfortunate, too. Interestingly, because that video was taken down, or not taken down, I keep saying that, uh, it was unmonetized. Uh, that, that one about Hillary Clinton. Oh, the, the other, the other um, besides politics, uh, war uh, and natural disaster. You're not supposed to mention those in your videos. Really? Really? Huh. Uh, so anyway, one of the uh, one of the guys that had his YouTube video uh, demonetized for the Hillary Clinton thing, um, uh, oh jeez, look at this corner. Can you imagine living in the house right here on this corner? How many times has a car almost hit your gone into your living room? I don't know if you can see that or how well you can see that. Oh, he's got a nice El Camino he's fixing up. Uh, anyway, the guy that had it demonetized mentioned that on uh, CNN's uh, YouTube channel, there's there's a video in there, like one of the more recent ones, of a, a little kid all bloody and dirty because he's in a war in, in Syria. And yet, it's okay for them to do that, right? Well, I guess you can draw your own conclusion, but... Sure sounds like the left poking, poking their nose in where it doesn't belong. And now you have uh, President Obama giving away the uh, ICANN to other countries, which I, I don't know if it's a mistake yet or not. It just seems like it would be. The Internet's been largely free up till now because of that, uh, because we've basically controlled ICANN. Uh, it's the body that regulates this stuff. But... Clearly, with YouTube and Facebook and uh, Twitter all kind of caving into other countries and ad revenues and the left um, and to the right, uh, there, there's actually been some fair use videos taken down by the right because they didn't like how it portrayed uh, the Republican or the conservative party member that it was uh, um, referring to. It's a shame. I guess my point is free, free speech on the internet is pretty much going by the wayside. So I just I guess you just got to kind of live with it, really. Like I said, for most of you, it doesn't matter. Uh, However, if you're looking for YouTube to be your uh, 
next job. I don't know, that, that is a goal for a lot of people, believe it or not. The problem you have is when you set up shop in somebody's backyard, you're subject to their rules. So, man, it could be a problem. And like I said, I, I would really expect in the next year or two, maybe three, they'll start pulling down videos that have offensive language or say things that people find offensive or have images that people find offensive. It's the uh, whole SJW. If you don't know what that is, it uh, stands for uh, Social Justice Warriors, right? It's basically those that are left or leaning left uh, really hard, trying to make the rest of the world conform to their views. All right, I guess I gotta head back. As much as I'd just love to keep riding, I do have to get my daughter from school and I do have a few things I gotta get done today. Including a Skype interview. But this is where I'm calling it quits, guys. I know I said that before, but I am almost home, so. It's time. So you all have a good weekend. Uh, well, the weekend will be over by the time I hear this. You all have a good week then, huh? <laughs> Let's put it that way. And, uh, again, thanks for everything. Talk to you later.